Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a comparison between this Longchamp bucket bag and this Longchamp Le Pliage nylon in the Nordic print. And we will see what fits. And I'll show you the differences and the similarities as well as if I can get all of this to fit in either one. That way if you're interested in this bucket bag you'll be able to see how that works with this button here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and see what we can fit in this Nordic bag. This one is my Le Pliage. This is the Longchamp in the Nordic print. And this one measures, according to the website, six and a half inches wide by five and a half inches high by four inches deep. So this one, as you can see, has the black leather trim, has the nylon print. Now I'll go ahead and show you what the sides in the back look like okay and then this one has a zipper on the top as well as a snap little flap here what i really like about this is it has this chunky zipper and it has a pocket right here as well as a pocket right here okay so let's go ahead and start putting our stuff my stuff in here so what i have in here is this little pouch and in here is just the essential since this is such a small little bag. I just wanted to see what would fit if I were to carry this bag just to uh, take a quick trip to the store. So in here I have some AirPods, hand sanitizer, a couple of the wet ones, wipes, a band-aid, a tie to go pen, and a lips, lip balm here from Carmex. And a Bath and Body Works Saltwater Breeze Perfume Spray. Okay, so let me go ahead and put this all back in here. And that way you can see what fits in these bags with actual items in my little pouches here. Okay, so this pouch is one of the smaller ones that I do have, and it's rather slim, so that's why I chose it for these small bags. Okay, so there's this. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. And as you can see, it fits right down in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and that takes care of my uh, little essentials there, and then I'm going to go ahead and use this wallet for the time being. This is a coach tripod wallet. It has a zipper pull on the back, which opens up for coin. Opens up like this. I have a few cards in here and then it has a spot here for cash. I have my cards in RFID sleeves, as you can see. So that way they are protected. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this in here. Okay, so now next I would need my phone. This is my old phone. This is the 6S Plus. It's the same size pretty much as my newer phone. The only difference is it's a little bit wider right here. But I'm going to use this as a prop. So I'm going to put this in here. Then I'm going to go ahead and put my keys in here. My coach key holder. Put that in here. And then, I think I might lay this down, if I can. Now keep in mind, this bag is really small, so it takes a little bit of Tetris maneuvering, so to speak. Now if I were to stand this up, my key fob it kind of sticks out a little bit. I can, I'll tuck that down in there. That'll help. So let's go ahead and put that in there. And so far, let me show you what this looks like. Okay, that's what that looks like so far. And let's go ahead and see what else I can fit in here. I have some mints. Which fits down there nicely next to my little pouch. Actually, fits down there nice. I'll show you. Next to the wallet and the keys. I have my coin case that I made. This... Uh, I made this. It's inspired by the Bastia Hermes 
coin holder and that's what that looks like. So I do have a little bit of coin in there. So let's go ahead and put that in here. Now, as you can see, this has a, it's rather, it's not structured. It's more, I don't, I don't want to say flimsy, but it has a little bit more give to it. And then sometimes um, I may not carry the change, but I wanted to show you that just to show you if it would fit in there. Now I do carry my sunglasses. These are Jessica Simpson sunglasses from TJ Maxx. And I just have them in this case from Amazon. You know, this is not going to fit in there, as you can see. It kind of sticks out at the top. So let me show you what I have so far in here. I have quite a bit in there, actually. Let me take out the coin. And let me maybe lay down my keys. Take out the mints. down my key well I put my keys on the top so let me go ahead and put the wallet back in there and if I were to take my keys actually if I were to take my sunglasses rather I would probably take my sunglasses and wear them so that wouldn't be an issue that would be wouldn't be an issue let me just show you right now I have my phone my little pouch my wallet and my keys and that's basically what I would carry and I probably would take something for coin in case I was um, paying with cash and that fits in there good and the mints do fit in there we did say that they did so let's go ahead and put the key the mints back in there and that's what that looks like I fit all that in there and just for the fact I have my reading glasses here let's go ahead and put those across the top and that way those fit. And so if I wanted to go ahead and get my keys, they're readily available right there. And let's go ahead and zip it up. It zips up nicely. And I could button that if I wanted to, but that's what that looks like. And it all that fit in there. Now, mind you, this bag here is a, just a little bit bigger than this bucket bag. And the closure is different. And also the strap goes on the ends here, whereas this one, the straps go on these little D rings. There's a D-ring right there, and then there's one right here. All right, so that's what I fit in here, and it was able to close nice and securely. Now I could also switch out, if I wanted to, the wallet, the this bulky wallet with maybe a card case. And I have my Michael Kors card case here. It has three card spots on the back, and it has a place for coin or extra cards in there. I could put this in here. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. And let's go ahead and see if I can fit something else in here. And I can. My little magnetic notepad. I got this off of Amazon and this will fit down in there nicely. And then just because I just want to see if I, maybe if I didn't have such a big bulky case here, I could put these in a softer case and then I, these could go on top. I'm not going to try closing that obviously because I don't want to scratch my sunglasses. Okay. I don't know if you can even see that. Oh, they're right there. Okay. So let me just put these back in the case here because I would normally just wear those and then keep them in the car. And then for the sake of going to the store, I would just carry that. And the card case would work, except you would you'd be, have to fold your bills and put them in that little zipper compartment here. You could fold your bills and put them in there. Okay. So we know that all of this fits in there. But I know this one's just a little bit wider than this one. So let's go ahead. That's the only difference, too. This one here is a little bit wider by half an inch than this one, but this one's half an inch taller. But as you, you'll see that it doesn't make much of a difference um, with it being taller, I will show you. So let's go ahead and take all of this out of here. And I will show you with this wallet, what fits in here and we'll configure it around. We'll kind of 
um, Tetris like it, I guess, to show you what fits. Now, as you can see, I fit all of this in this bag here because this is more malleable, so you can squish it. This one, and it's more durable, I want to say, because this one, I want to say, is probably more stain resistant because of the coloring and it's the nylon. Okay, so let's go ahead and move this one over in the spotlight here and I'll put this one over here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. This one, as I said before, this one has like a cotton uh, feel to it. This is not stain resistant. So if you were to get this one, you'd probably have to scotch guard it or I don't know if Apple Guard would keep the stains from being on this. It, this is like a, like a, I wanna say like a basket weave texture. That's what it feels like to me, but it's made out of cotton. This one is six by six by four, according to the tag. This one I got from Saks Fifth Avenue, and you can get this also from Bloomingdale's. This one's $195. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's not lined at all. There are no pockets. And this one here may be uh, prone to staining as well since it has the white interior. Let me share with you what I can fit from this pile here in this small little bag. Okay, so first, I'm going to go ahead and put my pouch in here. I will show you when I'm done putting them in because I have to literally section them off in here. I'm going to put my phone in here. Okay, so I found my pouch. Then I will put this wallet in here. And the keys, because that's what we had in the last one. And... The coin. See if I can squish the coin down in there. What else did we have? We had the mints. I don't want to say I lay the mints on the top, maybe. And let me show you so far. That's what that looks like. It seems like it holds quite a bit. Let me just take the mints out for the moment so I can show you. Okay, so you have all that in there, but let me just share with you how this closes now. So Literally, this is a cute bag. Don't get me wrong. This is really, really cute. And if you were to carry it without closing it, it might not be a problem. However, let me show you what it looks like buttoned. Okay, so I don't want to strain it too much. But as I really try to button it, look at what that looks like. Oh, it didn't even stay. So all of that stuff, I can't even get the button to stay. So let me go ahead and take the coin out. Let me see if I can get that to help with keeping the button fastened. Okay, so even though you have a half an inch taller in the height, I was able to get it buttoned. Okay, so this is what this looks like. Not bad. As you can see, there's a little bit of rippling back here. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Let me go ahead and swap out the wallet with the card case because this is rather, you know, it's rather wide. When you look at the card case, it's rather slim. So if you were just going to carry a card case, then... Of course, I don't have anything in there. Let me take some of the cards out of this wallet and put them in this card case so you get a, a decent uh, comparison here. Now, I know I didn't do that with the other bag. However, I know that it'll, it'll fit. The problem with this one is it's the only difference within the sizes is the half an inch difference uh, in the height. However, even though it's half an inch higher in the height, you got that button that you lose that half an inch because of the, where the, how the button snaps. And that could be a problem if you're looking to keep this secure, depending on how much, um, I have some stuff in there, depending on how much you have in here. Now, if you were just going to carry a small card case, this may work for you. And then, of course, I have my keys there. So let me show you what that looks like. And the only time you're going to put your keys in is if you have your keys in something bulky like that, um, is whenever you get out of your vehicle. Otherwise, it's going to look like that. Okay, so now let me just put my, let me put my mints in there. And maybe, so say, for instance, I have my keys out. If I don't want to have, if I just keep my keys in my hand, maybe. And that's what that looks like. And then let me see if I can button it. Okay, it does snap. 
and it does look really really cute that's what that looks like and so I did put my sunglasses in the top there but I'm not gonna be able to button that um, all right so that's what that looks like there so and you can you can button it just perfectly fine and it looks nice like that and you have your essentials in there and as always I hope you all have a great evening and I will talk to you all soon Thank you for watching. Bye.